How's it going guys? JP here and welcome to day number six in my seven days of insect horror. The film that I'm going to be reviewing today is Infestation from the year 2009 with tagline of prepare for global swarming. Now this one's much more along the uh, comedy side of things. We have this kind of slacker kid. Um, I guess he's an adult now. He's a young adult. He's, you know, starting out there in life. He has sort of an office job. He likes to play jokes on people. You can tell he doesn't really take life too serious. He's kind of just wants to do what he wants to do, but he has that pushy father or he had the, you know, he, he has society telling him he needs to do this thing when he really doesn't want to. Um... And this film, I gotta say, it starts off really quick because he goes into the office uh, of his boss, he's about to be fired, and they hear a loud noise, bam, he wakes up wrapped in a cocoon, he, you know, comes out of the cocoon, and uh, every, every person is covered in a cocoon. Um, I don't know if it's a yeah, kind of a cocoon, you know, a webbing. Um, he's checking out the office, he's like, you know, what the hell's going on here? He's looking around, and there's a bug. It's I, I, I don't really know what it would kind of look like. Um, some kind of spidery type type of bug like that. Um, he basically has to fend it off after he you know kills it. Uh, he wakes up. His boss pulls her out of the uh, web. You know, taps her on the face, and you know she's like, "What the hell's going on?" Um, her daughter, who was you know picking her up, was parked outside. So. They go outside, and of course, everybody out there is covered in these cocoon-style webs also. So basically what it is is, you know, something happened, and everybody woke up uh, in cocoons, except that people don't wake up naturally. For some reason, our main character did, um, you know, call it a plot hole or just, you know, a way to get the story going. But you have to wake them up. You have to, you know, pull the web off them and kind of slap them in the face and stuff to wake people up. So they w decide to wait, uh, wake up a few people. The daughter is kind of like the love interest thing. And um, then we have a band of survivors and they decide maybe we shouldn't wake up anybody else. Which I thought was a clever, you know, plot device to keep um, the world, you know, small. You know, you have a, a group of people in this, like, ap uh, apocalyptic uh you know, pre-apocalyptic type world um, with these giant, you know, killer bugs. So I thought that that was, you know, cool, a, a good way of writing off, you know, instead of everybody just dead, they're just kind of asleep right now. Um, so yeah, it's basically these survivors trying to get out. They eventually find the big giant hive. Um, there's ones that fly. We find out that they don't have uh, eyes, so they kind of hear things. They sense things. That's how they uh, find people. Um, like I said, it's a horror comedy, so um, you can't take it too seriously. It's not made serious at all because, you know, these characters get themselves into dumb situations. They do dumb things, but it's kind of meant to be funny. Um, and there's some genuine laughs. I, and you know what? The uh, main character, he was, uh, I forget his name, uh, but he was in Freddy vs. Jason. Um, and... Uh, you know, it was kind of cool to see him again. I thought he did a good job as the character. He was funny enough. Um, I kind of liked his, you know, um, sarcastically, you know, I don't give a fuck type of attitude. Um, the girl, His love interest was okay. I mean, for other characters, that's probably the main problem. Not Maybe not the main problem, but that's a problem. It's just nobody really is that likable, like, besides the two main, main characters. If there would have been some funny... Uh, you know, old guys or, you know, funny, um, you know, whatever. If there was some better characters, it would have made this one a lot more fun. If there was uh, better bug action going on, it really wasn't too too good. Um, but overall, I mean, it was pretty fun. It was entertaining the whole way through. I will say that there's one moment that actually, for a horror comedy, you know, a film like this, it's really silly. There was a moment that was kind of creepy. It was a reveal of a, like a giant spider human thing, and I was like, "Oh, that looks kind of creepy." Um, mostly CGI stuff here. Um, I thought I felt that the ending, the whole ending in the hive, was a little. Um, I, I wouldn't say boring, but just uh, it, it wasn't a great, you know, climax. 
Um, but overall, you know, for killer bug movies, it's definitely worth a watch if you're into the horror comedy ones. The, these ones are more giant bugs and stuff. So uh, I rate this film a 6.5 out of 10. Check it out. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final day of 7 Days of Killer Insects. Insect horror. So peace out, guys.